Cornelia, and I'm the founder of Sustainable Amsterdam. Hi. Hey, I'm Cornelia. Welcome to Amsterdam. Let's head over to Amsterdam North. Okay. okay. The initiative is all about exploring and explaining and exposing what makes Amsterdam a healthy, vibrant, livable city. Why did you start this project? Because uh, after living in uh, five different cities in four different countries, uh, Amsterdam um, uh, was very special to me, how sustainable and resilient and livable it actually is, and I wanted to share that. Uh, and where, uh, whereas other cities have a lot of propaganda about how sustainable they are, and then there's in fact very little substance. And with Amsterdam, I found the opposite. I found that there's actually a lot of great uh, sustainable initiatives uh, that are not even marketed or discussed uh, as much as they should be. What makes Amsterdam such a sustainable city? Yeah, the things that make Amsterdam a uh, really uh, very sustainable city are, are small things like uh, the way people move around the city, um, the way they live in small apartments uh, and therefore they consume a lot less energy. Uh, it's a lot harder for them to, uh, to hoard things uh, because there's no space for that. Um, the way uh, fathers and mothers are able to take their children to, to school on their bikes. Um, I think the, 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 biggest, the biggest thing that uh, other cities can learn uh, from Amsterdam is, um, is to really build a city that's nice to live in, that's really nice for residents, first, uh, first and foremost. The bicycle is so ubiquitous here, you see it everywhere. I think that's really a, a, a great example of, of how to move towards sustainable mobility, for example. Uh, but also things like uh, the way uh, industrial infrastructure is reused and repurposed for new creative uses, for example. I think those are the kind of things that other cities can learn from Amsterdam. We would like to know what your expectations are about a climate conference in Paris. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky question because I think uh, there's been a lot of uh, high expectations for a lot of these uh, summits in the past and they've uh, very often been very disappointing. Um, and so I, I'd like to see uh, the uh, governmental leaders really making a commitment to, to lower emissions going forward. Uh, but what's really exciting for me is actually the way uh, civil societies uh, is really taking um, a big, uh, the way it's really showing a lot of leadership uh, and the way there's so many projects uh, from uh, the bottom up. Uh, that are showing that uh, even if the politicians can't make a commitment, um, there's a lot of great initiatives that are making cities uh, a lot more sustainable.